The road coming down from Mount Brown used to be used for box cart racing. Can't help wondering if there's a reason why the The road coming down from Mount Brown used to be used for Can't help wondering if there's the same The road coming down from Mount Brown used to be used for box cart racing. Can't help road coming down from Mount Brown. Let's go to the top start again. Hey okay, folks, how are you going? I haven't put a video up for a while, so I thought I might make an update video. First, I want to say thanks to those people who have subscribed to my channel and those have provided feedback. It's been, been some good stuff and I've tried to incorporate it as much as I can. The reason why I started doing the On the Road with John series was because I wanted to get people who were either coming here from overseas or from the eastern states or even living here, get them out and have a look around and see exactly what there is in Western Australia. Trying to do it from a person-to-person -person point of view rather than like a television production kind of uh, setup. So a little bit more on the personal side of things. Um, I do ask some questions. I don't necessarily give answers. Uh, I don't want to give away all my material of course. Um, but uh, the idea is for you to get out there and actually find the answers for yourself. What we've done in this series is we've started basically from the beginning, which is always a good spot. We started with from the beginning, which was the how the English actually arrived here. We then looked at Fremantle, its history, some of the older buildings there. Moved up into Perth and had a look around Perth and from Kings Park and what was going on there. Uh, we went out to York, which was the first inland town. Uh, we had a bit of fun. We went up to Shark Bay and had a look up around that area. Uh, then we also did a travelling up the west coast, which is basically if you were driving from Perth up to Kununurra, which is the top of Western Australia, what to expect as far as the roads were going, um, the condition of them, uh, some of the places you can stop and have a look at, uh, give you an idea of really what to expect up there. Um, it really is a, a sort of wild frontier kind of thing, but uh, still easy access. New tourist season is about to start in a couple of weeks. I'll be heading from Perth to Darwin um, and then Darwin back to Perth again. I'll be away for probably about five weeks. I'm going to try and make a video of the trip from a driver's point of view. So it's not going to be a confessions of a coach driver or anything like that. Um, just a touring video, but from a driver's point of view, what's involved from our side of things to actually make these holidays happen. I'm not sure how I'll go with that because I've got a few technical problems I've got to sort through, but we'll see how we go with that anyway. Um, the next season, we're going to try and get out to Hyden and finally do that Hyden one. We've been trying to do that all this year and that sort of never came off for various reasons. Uh, Margaret River region, uh, very popular place that people go down to here in Western Australia. So we're going to go down and see what we can uh, put together for down there. The Kalgoorlie Pipeline is a little bit different. We're going to follow a fellow called C.Y. O'Connor. We talked briefly about him in the Fremantle video. Uh, he was the one that actually organised to build the pipeline to get water out to Kalgoorlie. So we're going to follow that pipeline and look at some of the, uh, the, the construction issues and, and uh, other things. I'm not really sure what's going to be in it, but we'll have a look at that one. We'll have a look at Kalgoorlie itself while we're out there as well. Something else I might look at working at, I've been asked a few times about it, I'm a little bit reluctant, but I've been asked about a bloopers tape, there's certainly plenty of them, so uh, I might see if I can knock something like that together as well. 
Um, in the meantime, subscribe to my channel here if you haven't already, or uh, if you're on Facebook, get over there and uh, like my page over there on the road with John. In the meantime, happy travels.